One of my favorite techniques is if I'm doing the knee slice pass, and as I start to hit this pass, I'm going right here to knee slice, this person sits up and starts going to my back. So what, what we'll do a lot of times, we go from here, I'm doing this kick over, I'm going to the reverse half guard. And sometimes right from here, this person keeps following me. Okay, and a lot of times, guys don't know what to do, so they just dump me on my back. Okay, so one thing, one thing you can do from here that uh, I think is really fun is using the wrestler's switch. Okay, from that position. So I'm here, I'm doing this uh, slice pass, he starts going to my back, I kick over, he follows me, and as he follows me, he keeps going to his knees, and I'm sitting out here with this switch. Remember, as I do the switch, you've got to slide toward his hips. I've got a nice arm lock right here. If he defends, again, I'm just going to tripod up. Maybe I get a uh, dig under his neck here, get this Courtney Nelson, he'd take him to half guard. So again, I'm here, I'm doing this slice, he goes to my back, kick over, he follows me. Look how I'm digging in tight, keeps going, goes to his knees. I sit out, I trap the arm here, or he defends. I sit up, take him back. One time all the way through. Again. So try that when you guys are training. It's a lot of fun. That wrestler switch can be used a lot of different places, but especially there from that kick over to the reverse half guard. I love it. Let me know your feedback.